जय जिनेन्द्र जैनिज्म इज नॉट जस्ट अबाउट ईटिंग हैबिट्स और गोइंग टू टेम्पल्स मोस्ट पीपल वुड रेफर जैन सेज द पीपल हु डू नॉट ईट ऑनियन पोटेटो एंड गार्लिक बट इज दैट द ओनली फैक्ट नॉट रियली रेदर जैनिज्म इज नॉट मोर देन अ रिलीजियन इट्स अ वे ऑफ लाइफ इट्स अ फिलोसॉफी दैट इज इंक्लूसिव फॉर ऑल द बींग्स मॉडर्न साइंस इज नाउ एबल टू प्रूव अ लॉट ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट दैट सुपर साइंटिस्ट भगवान महावीर एक्सप्लेन ट्वेंटी सिक्स हंड्रेड ईयर्स अगो लेट एस सी नाइन तत्व नाइन फंडामेंटल दोज आर बैक बोन ऑफ जैनिज्म फिलोसॉफी टू बिगिन विथ द फर्स्ट टू फंडामेंटल आर जैनिज्म वे ऑफ कैटेगराइजिंग एवरीथिंग द फर्स्ट वन इज जीव विच मीन्स द लिविंग बींग्स and the second one is ajiv which means non living beings soul which can make anything living being is the key difference between jeev and ajiv soul is also called as an atma the good or bad emotions rising out of our soul are the main reasons of binding good karma which is called punya and the bad karma which is called pap which are also the third and fourth fundamentals in jainism Although the emotions arise in our soul but our body materializes them in the form of thoughts words and actions karma are micro particles that are present everywhere around us like an electromagnet that attracts iron particles in a very same way on the emotions the soul vibrates and attracts karma particles next and fifth fundamental is ashrav which means incoming the means of inflow of karma is called ashrav incoming karma binds to our soul and that is called band which means to attach based on the means and its intensity the stronger or weaker karma are bound to our soul seventh is samvar we know that the thoughts words and actions are the means to bind karma if we can restrict the activities of these means and limit their scope then we can stop or reduce their effect and hence meditation isolation distancing prayer etc saves us from new incoming karma and this process is called samvar the eighth one is nirjara which means to shred off the karma those are already attached to our souls can be detached by 12 type of penances including fasting bowing down respecting elders and monks the karmas that are very strongly bound detaches only when we repay them in the future finally the goal of each soul is the ninth fundamental which is called moksha that is salvation it means the liberation from the cycle of birth and death jainism lifestyle is designed on these nine fundamentals and teaches us to observe care and love for all the beings in universe and treat them equally jai jinendra